Is your desk looking like a giant jungle of cables? Well, fear no more, because it ends today. We are going to build the slickest, the coolest, the most incredible Dex PC you will have ever seen. It will have a full computer, a printer, a scanner, and much more. And all of that will fit inside the thickness of the table. Let's get started. First stop at the CNC laser cutting machine where a 7mm plywood panel is being cut into our desk top layer. The components of the frame have a lot of uh, holes and complex shapes, so in order to make them very precisely and get a nice result, we are using a milling machine which is cutting exactly where we want. To assemble the components of the frame and glue everything together, we are using a panel of MDF in which we carved the, the shape of our desk. This way we can clip all the, the components of the frame at the exact position and we are sure that all the angles are square. Now that the wood assembly is done, we spray a varnish to protect the wood and get a nice finish. And back to laser cutting, uh, you can see the bottom aluminum sheet of our desk which is being cut to our precise drawings. For our big heat sink, we are using the skiving process which is basically taking a big block of aluminum and you have a heavy blade which comes and cuts small slices and straighten them up. Let's now uh, install the electrical system of the desk, starting by uh, popping the power sockets in their holes. The general idea is that you have one main power input which then connects to several power sockets and a few power cords. It's, it's actually a kind of embedded power strip basically. The power cords are for the computer, screen and printer power supplies and there are a total of uh, 9 power sockets, 5 inside the desk and 4 under the desk. This way you can connect pretty much whatever you want, wherever you want, it's very convenient. For our massive uh, heatsink, we need a large array of uh, 12 fans all connected in parallel. So we are going to start by gluing all the fans together. Though it's quite a big mess of cable right now. Ah, that's much better now. All nice and tidy. The array of fan can now be installed just in front of the heatsink. And that concludes the internal of the desk, so we can put it all back together. For the leg of the desk, we are going quite over the top as we are actually using standing desk uh, legs. So the, this is of the shelf component, so there isn't much to say, it's just assembly. There is one thing though, it's that the side plates are customized such that the position of the holes are actually precisely the same as our desk. So it's very easy to assemble them and it looks very nice. CPU and GPUs are generating a lot of heat. And to get rid of that in this tight enclosure, I had to make those custom aluminum parts. As you can see, first they have a fan which is blowing directly on the hottest spot of, the, of those chips. Then the rest of the heat is transferred to the aluminum sheet. And then to our main heatsink, which as you've seen before, has an array of 12 fans which is blowing directly on that big heatsink. So yeah, 3D design was not enough though. I also had to make a custom PCB for the screen buttons and also the speaker amplifier. More on that in the long video if you are interested. For the sound system, we are using woofers and tweeters. This way we have a two-way speakers which will give us an incredible sound. Foam is used to prevent any vibration in the metal panel. To connect the speakers, we are going to need some more uh, custom cables, which are here. 
and we are going to connect them to the speakers and as you can see on each side where we have two speakers one twitter and one woofers to, so to connect them we are going to need a crosswalk and this part just let us split the sound frequencies to the twitter and the and the woofer so the high pitch noises go to the twitter and the low pitch they go to the woofer if you're using a laptop then it's very simple you just put a USB-C hub in there and this way you just have to connect one cable to your laptop and then BAM! It will connect to all the peripherals at once. Also, I am planning to make an external GPU docking station. This way, when you connect to the desk, your computer will get much more powerful for gaming, video editing and such because of the external GPU. For desktop PC users, Let's now see how we install the computer, starting with the GPU. We have to remove the stock cooler, so we'll remove all the screws, remove the fans and the heatsink. Then we clean the thermal paste and replace it. A flexible riser cable is used to connect the GPU to the motherboard. And then we don't forget to connect the bridge fan before putting the GPU in place and screwing it down. It's looking good. Now for the motherboard, we'll connect the RAM stick, the power supply and the peripherals such as the power button, the audio for the speaker and the USB lines for the screen and for the printer and scanner. Then we apply some thermal paste and we're ready to go. The power supply we are using is the Enhance 7660. It's super compact and super powerful. It has a connector output which lets us connect things very easily. Now it's time for a little bit of cable management, wiring it all together. The screen is a 22 inch pen display from Huion. We are lucky because I told them about my project and they agreed to make a custom glass to the desk dimension. So it's very easy to integrate it. We'll just make sure nothing is in the way and then we can close it up. And with that, my ultimate desk PC is finally complete. I often have to make some sketches, sign documents, take notes and so on, and that has often been a limitation for me. So I included the 22 pen display right there, and I think it's also very nice to have a secondary monitor. And for the eventual thing that I really must print, like shipping labels or whatever tickets, I added a small thermal printer. Even today you still have those institutions that like to send papers, so for those I added a flatbed scanner, this way I can scan those documents and get rid of the papers. In this enclosure you have several power sockets, which are great because they let you connect any additional hardware such as your screen power supply, your chargers, a lamp or whatever you want. Also with those channels for the cables it's very easy to route the cables outside. And this one is very nice because you have a DVD drive here and it also gives you access to the motherboard uh, IO shield so you can connect external drives or such and it lets you store a lot of different things. You could even put your internet router in there if you want. And for gaming, movies and such, we have our custom dual way speakers right there. And when you have a desk like that, you probably spend a lot of time at it. So standing desk is a great way not to sit all day long. I don't know what you think, but I'm extremely pleased with the result. It's very clean, there's no cable, it feels good because it's real wood and so on. And also the thickness is not very high, you see it's only maybe 5 centimeters or so. So it actually feels like a normal table, it's not like the huge desk PC where you have like 30 centimeters and you don't know where to put your legs. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, please consider liking the video and subscribing, which is like totally free, of course. And if you enjoyed it even more, please consider backing me on Kickstarter. It will launch probably in June or something like that. I will let you check down below in the description uh, for the exact uh, date. 
And if it hasn't started yet, then I suggest that you leave your email address on uh, my website, which is also linked down below in the description. And this way you will be the first to be notified when it launch and you will be able to access the early bird offers. So thanks again and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.